I am really, really, really excited. We are loaded for bear. We got pike stuff, we got musky stuff, we got walleye stuff, we got crappie stuff. And right now, Al and I are gonna go chase smallmouth bass. We're in probably one of the most diverse areas in all of sunset country in Northwest Ontario, the Atacokan region. Hey, we come up here every year. Why? Simple. Lots of water and lots of fish all kinds of fish and every year we pick a couple new lakes that we haven't been on just to explore we're on one of those bodies of water right now we're at branches seine river lodge obviously on the seine river it's got all kinds of fish in it and when i called in the other day to talk to to, to Lori and her husband to find out what's the water temperature what's the bite looking like she says boy oh boy we're really catching a lot of smallmouth my ears perked up like this i said smallmouth you know we're going to do a television show you want us to talk a little bit about the smallmouth she says, oh, please do. There's more interest in smallmouth fishing up here than ever before. I said, it's right up our alley. Put the boat in, Dano. This is the first of several trips up into Canada for Al and I this year. And one thing I always enjoy is meeting the lodge owners. They always have some fascinating story. Take Quentin here. His dad lived in the bush for 20 years as a prospector. I can't imagine that. I thought camping for a weekend was a long time. Well, um, this, this lodge actually was established in uh, the early 30s, and no one knows the, a lot about the initial uh, couple decades of it, but, uh, but it was around uh, a couple of log cabins put up and just a small operation. Um, there was, it changed hands a couple of times, and my parents, uh, my dad was a prospector, and he lived in the bush for 20 years in a tent, and he was wanting to kind of grow some roots especially after I came along. Um, and he always stayed a lot at a lot of fishing lodges while he was working, so although he wasn't much of a fisherman or a hunter, he wanted to kind of um, have a lodge. So, uh, so he had the opportunity, he bought this sight unseen, my parents bought this sight unseen. They flipped a coin between this and another one um, and, and just went with this one, which was quite fortunate, I think. Um, and then they uh, moved here in 1967, was, that was the year they purchased the camp and they, uh, there was no road in then. Right up until that point, there was a, it was a train in camp. Some fly in, but for the most part, guests came in from the States, uh, got on a small passenger train out of Fort Francis and uh, came to the, uh, a trail that walked into our camp. Um, in 1965, Highway 11 went through, so it was a new, a new uh, artery in the area. So when my dad bought it in 1967, he put the road in. So we became a drive-in camp. Uh, it was all American plan until, uh, and all guided until my dad had all the guides wind up in jail one day and he got rid of the guided trips for several decades. Um, they were all in jail and he had to go bail them out and terminate them at the same time, I guess. Um, so they ran it for 30 some odd years and they were looking to retire uh, and they approached me, I was working and, and I had met Lori and we had a family. Uh, I was in Southern Ontario and we took over the camp in 2001. So, uh, so since then we've uh, we've done a lot of changes, and uh, but but there was it was a really good base for us to, for us to build from. Really good fishing, really good, just the perfect location in, in every way, and uh, and it was just a matter of us. We've had the opportunity now to take that and, and go to the next level with it. We're in an ideal location for all kinds of wilderness activities. Um, our, our, our main focus is fishing. Um, and we are in the center of the Seine River chain of lakes, which is just a perfect location. We've got a lot of great fishing right off of our docks. No need to, uh, no need to travel anywhere to get really, really good smallmouth bass, walleye, pike, perch, uh, and we're starting to see crappie as well. Uh, we have nearby lakes, a number of nearby lakes with lake trout as well that we have boats on. Uh, but that's, that's the core of our business and our focus. Uh, we also do hunting trips, and we also are a full-service Quetico canoe trip outfitter. So uh, I always joke with our guests that we, they start out with aluminum canoes, they go to Kevlar canoes, then they go to a cabin. So, so we try to cover all their bases as they progress through their lives. So, so we, get, we try to keep them coming for, for whatever type of trip they want. Uh, we have nine cabins. We built three in the last two years. Put in all the amenities, made sure we've got the nice higher end beds. Uh, sleeping is very important to people when they're on vacation, so you want something that's comfortable for them. They can get a good night's rest. So the next morning they're refreshed to go out and go fishing for the day. What are you throwing? Jerk bait. X-Wrap. Good. When, when we're looking, there ain't a better thing you could throw. 